हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सुरेश अग्रवाल्स मैथमेटिक्स शॉर्टकट्स सो यू हैव लर्न सो मेनी स्मार्ट एंड शॉर्ट ट्रिक्स टू सिंप्लीफाई द कैलकुलेशन राइट बट वी नीड टू अप्लाई देम इन कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स एंड स्पेशली वेन द प्रॉब्लम इन्वॉल्व सिंप्लीफिकेशन नाउ सिंप्लीफिकेशन क्वेश्चन आर ऑफ वेरीड टाइप्स एंड वन ऑफ द वेरी वेरी प्रोमिनेंट टाइप्स आर द प्रॉब्लम बेस्ड ऑन एक्सपोनेंट्स so whenever there are huge expressions given to you in which there are exponents involved and you need to simplify them you need to be smart with your calculations so i am going to take up some of the videos in which i am going to show you how smart tricks can help you in simplification and get to the correct answer within very less time and time you all know matters a lot when it comes to cracking multiple choice questions in the quant exams so whether you are a school student or a college student or a parent or anyone preparing for any placement exams whether railway banking or you know all sorts of exams which the government con uh, conducts you have to watch this video watch the complete video to learn the useful things and do subscribe the channel if you have not clicked it by now and you have to click the bell shaped icon also so that you can keep on getting all the notifications of all future uploads so let's see some of the questions which are like previous year questions of uh, prominent uh, quant exams and i'll show you how the smart tricks can help us in these type of simplifications so let's take up the first question for the video in this question we have a simple uh, looking question where we have to do 13 square minus 4 raised to power 3 minus square root of 676 Plus two is equal to something square. So we need to find out what is this something. The options given are a three, b nine, c eighty one, d twenty seven, and e eighteen. Now, when you look at the question first, you know it looks like very very easy question. Yes, it is easy if you know your basic laws of exponents, if you know your basic uh, sequence of operations, if you know square roots up to at least 30 that's what i keep on telling to my uh, friends you know square root up to 30 uh, maybe 961 which is uh, 31 that is a must so let's see how we can crack this easily that's why you how would i do it so if you find it useful you can also do it the same way i know that the square of 13 is 169 i know that the cube of 4 is 64 I know that the square root of six seventy six is actually twenty six. See, there is a confusion between twenty four and twenty six. You know, if this was five seventy six, then the square root would have been twenty four. But it is six seventy six, a difference of hundred. So the square root is twenty six. Be very careful there, okay? And then plus two gives us something square, right? now everything has vanished no exponents no square roots in the question so makes it all the more easier for me to solve this now so i need to know the basic calculations so instead of subtracting these two i'll add these two negatives so 169 minus this is 80 90 right and plus 2 and so this becomes uh, 169 minus 90 is 79 and 79 plus 2 happens to be 81 right So eighty one is equal to something square, and obviously the value of x will be nine because nine square is eighty one. So the correct option is option number B nine. So a very easy example to start with, and uh, you know I don't want you to feel uh, panicky in the initial stages of the video. So this was a easy one for you, and many of us may be able to do it mentally also. Yes, mentally also. Let's take another question. Uh, very similar to the first one, but involving little bit of the higher values this time. So suppose we have two hundred and forty-three square. Now you should know your exponents well, okay? And divided by we have twenty-seven square, and then times thirty-two divided by twelve. So we need to find the value of this expression. And I'll give you the op options also, so that you know if you want to try it, you can pause the video after I give the options. Try it yourself and then play the video. Okay, so one hundred and ninety-two is option A. Two hundred and sixteen is option B. Then we have two thirty and two hundred and 
44. These are the four options which are given as choices. Now let's see how you can solve this. Uh, would you do 243 square here and 27 square here? Well, I won't do it because I know that 243 actually is uh, expressible or it can be expressed in the form of exponents. Do you know 3 times 3, 9, 9 times 3, 27, 27 times 3, 81 and 81 times 3 is 243. So this 243 is actually 3 raised to power 5. And then we have a power 2 also. Likewise, divide means upon 27 is 3 cube and we have a square also followed by a multiply and then again we have the divide 32 divided by 12. Now this is how you need to express the question and if you can do that next step is pretty easy. Why? Because we have to apply the law of exponent here. So here you can see this becomes 3 raised to power 10 and in the denominator 3 raised to power 6. So since the base is same you will be subtracting the exponents so 10 minus 6 and 32 upon 12 I think they are divisible by 4 so this is 8 upon 3 now this becomes 3 raised to power 4 times 8 upon 3 and obviously one of the 3's will get cancelled so you will have a 3 cube which is 27 and a 8 now this is 160 plus 56 that is 216 which is the answer for the question now most of the steps which I have written there are for your reference. You know I won't be writing all the steps if I have to do it in a competitive exam. Just want to explain how the thinking process has to be taken up and you don't have to square this and square this to get to your answer. Right? Okay. Now if you have understood this we can move on to some little bit on the higher side difficulty level. Let's see how we can crack those questions as well. So if I want to take up another question this is having a 6 raised to power 4 and then it is divided by 36 raised to power 3 and multiplied by 216 and this is equal to 6 raised to power something minus 5. So I need to find the value of that something. So the options are A4, B6, C7, D1. Well, the question sounds again little bit easier uh, on the easier side and so that is why since this is the beginning of the application of the short tricks on simplification problems I am not taking up very very huge problems. So how many of you can do that for real? Just try it, pause the video here and try it and play it from here if you don't get it okay or you want to verify your answer. Let's see. Again there is a divide here and a multiply here. So I know the sequence of operations divide, multiply and subtract. So I have to divide first and then multiply. So the division part 6 raised to power 4 divided by 36 is 6 square right. So I will write 6 square raised to power 3 and then multiply it by 2 1 6. This is the left hand side. On the right hand side I have a 6 uh, raised to power x minus y. I don't want to touch that as of now. So this 2 1 6 again is 6 raised to power 3. So I can write it as 6 raised to power 3. So 6 raised to power 4 here plus 3 here. Why? Because in the numerators you have the common base so you add the exponents. In the denominator you have 2 3s are 6 right. So that 6 will get subtracted because the base is common so you can apply the laws of exponents. So how much is this? This is 6 raised to power 1. And on the right hand side you have 6 raised to power x minus 5. So when the bases are same you can equate the exponents. So x minus 5 equal to 1 gives us x equal to 6 as the answer for this particular question. Now many of us will go for elimination method here. They will try x raised to power 4. So 6 raised to power minus 1. So they will try whether left hand side results in 6 raised to power minus 1 or not. That can be a little complicated. But I think using laws of exponents on the left hand side here helps us a great deal in understanding and getting to the answer very very quickly. Let's have one more. This is question number 4 for this video. This was third. So now we have a big number like 4096. Now immediately when you see this number 4096, you should know how to express 4096 in terms of exponents. If you, are, if you fail to do that, you know, it's trouble. 
and raised to power look at the power here 3.7 and obviously without laws of exponents we can't simplify power 3.7 so next up we have divided by and we have 256 and that is raised to power 4.3 so the decimal exponents are there so you need to be more careful there times 64 raised to power 5 and then we have another division symbol followed by 16 raised to power minus 4 is equal to we have 4 raised to power something and we have to find that something so what are the options given here the options are 22 24 26 and 28 there are four options given to us now you can again pause the video and try it yourself check the time how much time you are taking to solve this okay and now play it from here well I when I see all these I get one thing in mind either the base has to be 2 because all of them are even numbers and they seem to be the powers of 2 or if you are smarter you will take the powers of 4 now let's check how 4096 4096 is actually 2 raised to power 12 if you know 2 raised to power 10 is 1024 then the double of 1024 is 2048 and the double of 2048 is 4096 so it is 2 raised to power 12 if I don't want 2 raised to power I want 4 raised to power so I will write 4 and divide this by 2 so this will become 4 raised to power 6 now you can check if 4 raised to power 6 is 4096 or not and you will not get a different answer similarly 256 if you see c256 is actually 2 raised to power 8 how do i write that as 4 raised to power it is 4 raised to power uh, just divide this by 2 you get 4 so 4 raised to power 4 is actually the same thing 256 next up we have 64 raised to power 5 which is pretty obvious 64 uh, raised to power 5 is 4 cube raised to power 5 which is 4 raised to power 15 similarly we have 16 power minus 4 which is very easy 4 square raised to power minus 4 I'll do it there itself okay now let's input all these in the given simplification problem 4096 is 4 raised to power 6 so 6 times 3.7 divided by 4 raised to power 4 times 4.3 times 64 is 4 raised to power 3 so 15 4 raised to power 15 and divided by 4 raised to power since this is 4 square so this is minus 8 equals 4 raised to power x now see we have all the bases as 4 that makes the problem easy for us how just multiply this see this exponent minus this exponent that has to be done because there is a divide sign and we have a common base so 4 raised to power 6 7s are 42 4 carry means 6 3s are 18 22 so 22.2 minus 4 3s are 12 2 1 carry means 17 17.2 that is the first part multiplied by 4 raised to power 15 minus minus 8 equals 4 raised to power x so 22.2 minus 17.2 is 5 so 4 raised to power 5 times 4 raised to power 15 plus 8 is 23 equals 4 raised to power x and the next step will have your answer 4 raised to power 5 plus 23 is 28 is equal to 4 raised to power x gives us x as 28 and that is the answer for the question which is option number d so expressing all the bases as a common base that is the secret behind solving this particular question and many of us will do factorizations because they don't know the common exponents so the powers of 2 the powers of 3 the powers of 5 you should know all those powers for 2 and 3 you should know up to at least 8 to 10 2 raised to power 10 3 raised to power 8 for 5 you should know at least up to 5 raised to power 6 Right? So those are the basic tendencies and competencies which you should have in cracking these uh, exponent based simplification problems.
so friends look for more such amazing applications of the smart tricks to solve the simplification problems in the competitive exams and uh, do practice all these things and let me know in the comments whether these are of benefit to you or not so all the best for your practice